हाँ जी कैसे हो सर वेलकम बैक टू एन अनदर वीडियो ऑन आर चैनल एंड पीपल हु आर न्यू ऑन चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब बिकॉज देर आर सो मेनी वीडियोज दैट पीपल आर लविंग लाइक आर जावा फुल स्टैक कोर्स विच इज़ एन इंटरमीडिएटरी कोर्स एंड देन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम प्ले लिस्ट राइट एंड देन फ्यू ऑफ द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम प्रोजेक्ट्स लाइक योर यू एस बी ड्राइवर्स एंड ऑल राइट सो मेक श्योर यू सब्सक्राइब एंड चेक आउट दोज वीडियो सो टू दिस वीडियो इज गोन बी अ स्पेशल वीडियो फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सिक्स for people who want to cover java from basics to advanced right and we'll cover concepts we'll cover projects and i'll just walk you through which people should focus on right so first things first right why we are discussing java right at the very first place see i come from monstack background in college for few years i have done monstack and then i have shifted to c++ and java right and one of the best decision that i have you know took so far is starting my journey in java because in java i can check the whole cs beauty ki bhai whatever is going under the hood i can see i can watch and it's very descriptive in nature right a bunch lot of people dislike that fact ki bhai it is very descriptive the syntax is whole bigger than the other languages and now i am you know doing rust i am doing golang i am doing swift but the thing is the starting language java did pay me a lot right so that's why we are going through java roadmap today cool so we'll cover this in three parts first part will be basics right second part will be intermediate concepts and third part will be advanced and the myth is that people usually say ki bhai uh, you should know spring boot also no if you want to build projects for resume you don't need to learn spring boot at the very first place you should consider learning java to the fullest first right so basics mein all the time we discuss ki bhai any language have if else right um, then you have you know kind of functions right return statements right then uh, in java you have primitive versus primitive versus wrapper classes right and then for all the wrapper classes like integer right character uh, double or the parent class object has some methods like compare right equals all these methods you should know ki what exactly these methods does right then we have string builder in java we have these concepts like string builder uh, string pointers right string pool so these concepts you should learn before diving down you know into oops and all right so string pool right and after that you should know like the basic arithmetic like uh, plus minus multiply division right all these things then comes exception handling right exception handling is extremely important in java right because you have few of the concepts that we'll discuss in intermediate section because of them you'll be able to do a lot more things than other languages and that's what makes java special cool so after exception handling and all you should know basics of classes and objects right classes and objects what exactly classes are what exactly objects are in java and static keyword right what exactly static keyword is then primitive array right primitive array and wrapper array wrapper array is like list class and last thing is interfaces right what all interfaces are available like list is an interface array list is a concrete class implementation of that list right and all these classes how they are coming right how you can you know uh, go inside those classes ka definition you should always be curious about those things right and then first thing i would always you know tell beginners ki bhai make sure you are fluent in debuggers how to use a java debugger in intellij vs code whatever you are using but how to use a debugger right then package right what exactly the are the packages in java right and then maven or gradle whatever you want to choose for package management to add any extra i would say third party dependency or package right and how to deploy your own package by the way just for you know uh two minutes i'll say ki our live cohort is already going on right we have taken everything from the basics considering that people want to solve the question instead of remembering the syntax instead of learning the syntax 
and people want to solve the problems and people want to solve problems using first principle thinking and cs curiosity right so that's what we discussed in this cohort we have assignments we have three projects that people have used already and they have grabbed few of the placements and they are people who are already working most of the people who are in cohort are working professionals and they have taken this cohort and they are you know building projects and you can see jvm internals heap stack serializable interfaces uh, all these kind of things we have discussed and then we have built three projects without covering spring boot yet and we are able to build three projects and deploy them without even using any database or anything just using our plain java their plain java ka http library then we have done some dsa because if you are learning a language and not able to solve some of the problems in that language then that language is incomplete so here you can see all the problems dsa is still going on right so our phase one of java is already completed phase two of dsa is about to complete in this month phase three is about to start from the next month which is lld you can check link in the description every detail is mentioned on the course page make sure you go through each and every point before enrolling i don't want to get you in fomo and make you buy the course and there are few assignments also after covering each major topic we have assignment and that is in you know uh this cohort only you can access that assignment right and uh, if you will go to any assignment right it will open a vs code page where you will have a complete test cases you have to pass complete assignment that you have to run right so after covering each concepts we make sure that you have some assignments so that you don't forget about these concepts and that is the main point and we have projects obviously and discord community for you where few of the super peers from amazon and flipkart senior engineers are present and other than that already people who are learning cool so let's go to intermediate concepts right so for intermediate level i would say that you should know what we have seen just now serializable right how data gets serialized and deserialized right how get data transferred over streams like object stream array output stream file input stream right then file input output right and after covering streams and in our cohort we have specific assignments also right you should know the http library of java right http library plain http library without using any spring boot you should know how to use because that library you will be using with streams and we have made one end to end project also in the cohort and it is available for the you know community on youtube for free you can access that from i'll put that in you know somewhere here cool so make sure you know http client library and all then socket programming right socket programming tells you the networking concepts in any language every language golang python java c++ c rust whatever will have sockets inbuilt and you can use that socket api of os is exposed in every language that is also one of the intermediate concept you should know and this roadmap is valid for any language you are learning right <laughs> okay now after that you should know that object oriented programming right oops uh, we have you know uh, went through classes and objects that you should know them but object oriented programming in general like with generics i would say with generics how to use generics in java you should know that cool in advanced topics you should know multi threading now multi threading is a vast topic we have complete free video 3 hours video uh, okay pardon me for the spellings but anyways multi threading theek hai there is a complete 3 hours video of our cohort present for free on this uh, channel only you can access that multi threading mein you have completable futures right you have um uh, threads itself right you have um what do you say uh, platform threads and all hell lot of things right after multiple uh, multi threading you should know streams you should know optionals right these are few of the concepts introduced in java 8 and parallel streams right filters maps functional interfaces how maps filters all these kind of 
functionality by default has these functional interfaces how to build your own functional interface right and after that you should know java and io which is very advanced topic like kafka few of the databases are implemented using java known blocking or i should say new input output and that is it so this is the roadmap right you can follow this roadmap if you want to learn from free resources uh, it those resources are available on the youtube blogs everything i am not telling you to take any course right but if you want a structured community projects assignments and spring boot also after that then a uh, few of the like how to transfer your learning from one language to another language how to learn go lang after that sure check out cohort otherwise with this roadmap i'll end this video but going forward there are good news coming up right for the upcoming content for free obviously on youtube and for that obviously i always put those news on twitter i'll put the twitter link in the description you can follow me there and uh, must must videos are in here that's only what i can reveal but see you soon milte hain jaldi bye bye